Uh, thank you so much, Lynn. You look beautiful. Uh, I'm so excited yeah. right now. Kelly so and I <laughs> are here to present for the very first time world launch and an HSN exclusive. We went to the Houseware Show in Chicago. We go every year. Our buyers and our bunch of us go. This was the biggest hit of the entire event. I'm not kidding. And this is thousands and thousands and thousands of like, it feels like miles. Um, but when we got the exclusive on this, we were like, yes. I know. <laughs> and this is the first time it's been seen on the air. It's the Dash Greek yogurt maker. You can choose pink or blue. It's either or. And it's only $19.98 for two months on your credit card. This is an event price, brand new, 78440. You can make your own Greek yogurt I at know. home now. I love it. You know those uh, machines that make the soda and how popular they are? Yeah. That's what this is to me, but for Greek yogurt. Why? Because now you're going to have Greek yogurt for way cheaper. It's going to be way more mm -hmm. affordable to do your Greek yogurt. You're not going to have all the stuff in it, like the added sugars, the added colors, the preservatives, the whatever you can't pronounce, acids. It's all gonna be natural and you can do it in your home for a fraction of the price and it's so easy. And I wanna show you exactly how you do it. But quickly, as Callie mentioned, you get all of this. Mm -hmm. So you get your choice of the pink or the blue, but you get all of the catch containers as well. So you're getting the container that makes the yogurt. It's a digital clock on the front. So you actually set the time to make your yogurt. And then you're getting the strainer. This is the most That's beautiful the thing ever. If, you are, if you've ever made yogurt, this is the big deal. It doesn't exist anywhere on the planet. You're getting the other cup for storage. You're, of course, getting the lid that goes right on top there, not to mention how cute the machine and is. great ideas. You've got your recipes. recipe booklet. And then you get this wonderful wheel, okay? So you can make any kind of yogurt, also Greek yogurt. Look, you could do 2%. It tells you exactly how to do it. Maybe I want to do whole milk. That tells me exactly how to do my whole milk. So it's also really super fun because you get this little wheel. Maybe I want to use soy milk, okay? It goes on and on. Skim milk, 1%. You could do coconut, awesome. almond, all the other Very kinds of cool. milks. Very cool. Very cool. But here's how easy it is. This is how you make yogurt at home, and it's so simple. So if you're like, oh, man, I'd love to do that, but it sounds like a lot of work, it's not. It, it is any other way. Well, I've that's tried. Right. <laughs> right. This is so the way to go. Watch this. Yeah, so you only need two ingredients, and that's what I love. Two ingredients to make the most delicious Greek yogurt ever. You need a certain kind of milk, so maybe that's your soy milk, your 1%, your skim, your almond, your coconut, whatever, whatever you kind like. of milk you mm -hmm. desire. Then you need a starter yogurt. So that's going to be either like a store-bought yogurt that's a plain yogurt, or it could be from your last batch that you made. Okay. So if I told you you only ever had to buy one more thing of yogurt ever, because you could always start with your next batch man are you saving money <laughs> so what you do is you take your milk you bring it up to a boil like 180 degrees you bring it back down to 100 degrees then all I do is I pour in my starter yogurt I take a little whisk and I just quickly whisk that in and that's at about 100 degrees and that is literally the hardest part <laughs> about this okay and remember I've only used two ingredients a starter yogurt and milk and that's all I need to make yogurt then, of course, Dash, this is included. It comes right inside here. And you pour the milk right inside of the yogurt maker. Watch this. And the beauty of the yogurt maker is that it's going to keep your yogurt at the perfect temperature. And that is the most difficult part of making yogurt. And so it takes about eight hours if you're doing like whole milk or other kinds of milk a little bit longer, but it's all in that wheel, remember? Mm -hmm. So you, you don't mm -hmm. have to take notes or anything. Right down here, you can see there's that digital clock. And I can set it for, uh, I think we've got it here at 10. So let's see, I want to do eight. And my, okay, I'm not sure. I can't read upside down and backwards. But you can see you get the drift. So if we want to do eight hours, then all I do is hit that start button. And it starts counting down. And you can go to sleep. You can go to work. You could do whatever it is you're going to do for eight hours in your day. And it's making yogurt for you. It's literally doing all the work for you. And you walk away, you don't ever have to stir. <laughs> you don't have to worry, is the temperature right? Is yep. something scalding? Is something? I've made yogurt with my sister-in-law before, and, yeah. and it was really fun, and it was really yeah. delicious, and it was so much better because it was all natural, but it was a pain. Yes. And then half the time I would do it wrong, and it just didn't turn out. You yeah. can't mess this up. Yeah. And let me ask you this. Were you doing it like this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that looks familiar. This is like how some people try it. When I saw this and I was looking at some YouTube videos, I was like, oh, man, what are people doing? Because now, Dad. It was a pain. Yeah. They give you this gorgeous machine. And it Just does, choose pink or blue. Yeah. It does all the work for you. Here's our little instruction manual. And then here's what we get. 
eight hours later, maybe it's nine hours if you've done the soy, you get your delicious yogurt. Look at that. It's such a great source of protein. It is such, it is so healthy. I mean, I don't even have to, I don't have time to sit here and tell you how healthy yogurt is for you, but you guys know. We don't have to tell you all of the That's delicious. why we spend so much money on it in the, right. in the stores, because we know how good it is for us. If you go into an, a grocery aisle, like three-fourths of the yogurt aisle is Greek yogurt, mm -hmm. because we know. There's a reason it's so popular. So here, this is regular yogurt, okay? So you control the consistency of the yogurt that you want. So what you get out the next day is regular yogurt. That's right down here, regular yogurt. Then all I need to do is strain it to get my Greek. So this is the consistency of Greek yogurt. And that's all the difference is with Greek yogurt, you strain off the way. How about yogurt cheese? I can make yogurt cheese. But here's the beauty. Now, let's say I want to take my regular yogurt and I want to turn it into Greek yogurt. So you get the strainer included. Yeah, it comes right inside there. Remember, we lifted up that strainer. Yeah. It's my favorite part about it. You pour it in there. And just let it do its thing. And you just let it sift through strain. It. And in two hours from regular yogurt, you're going to have Greek, Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt! Yes. So again, this is the world launch. Nowhere on the planet can you get this Greek yogurt maker but right here at HSN. And it's event priced. So it's $10 off, brand spanking new, and it's on Flexo. It's $19.98 to get it all. You get the pink or the blue, you choose. You get the strainer, you get the extra care, uh, container to store. You get, of course, the, the container to be able to use utilize inside. I love that it manages the temperature yes, automatically. It does. You literally set a button Push a button, walk yeah. away, and your yogurt will be perfect every time. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like having a Roomba. You touch a button, walk away, and your home is vacuumed when you come home. <laughs> That's a great right? point. It absolutely is. So remember, all I did was I popped it in that strainer, and it then in two good. hours from regular yogurt. Now remember, if you want regular yogurt, you stop there. From my regular yogurt, now I have delicious, preservative-free Greek yogurt. It's going to cost you a fraction. I think we did the math, and it was going to be like 75 cents per, like, like a cup of yogurt. I mean, as opposed to like four dollars. Yeah. I mean, it was outrageous how much you save. So you literally just use your favorite kind of milk, whether yes. it's soy or almond or whole milk, half milk or one percent half milk, one percent or skim. <laughs> uh, and then you, you add again your your starter. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. You put them together, put in the machine, set the timer, and it's done. Yeah. And look inside here. I don't know if we can get a shot of that, an overhead shot of that. That's the way. You can actually use that way for cooking. You can do a ah. lot of things with that. Different desserts. I've heard some people use it in their iced tea. That's, that's cool. the way that's drained off from our Greek yogurt. And then you get the lid and you have the storage container. So you pop it in the refrigerator. But we have got to mention all of the things you can do with yogurt. You can is this substitute. Yogurt butter? Wait. This is yogurt cheese. So oh, after yummy. straining for 24 hours, I have the delicious yogurt cheese. I want you to eat one of those. Oh, I'd be happy Because to. it tastes like goat cheese. I am obsessed with goat mm. cheese, but yogurt cheese has less the calories, it has mm. more protein, it's healthier, and it's tastier. And now you That's can do it at, And do you know how much cheese, like that kind of like gourmet cheese costs oh at the God. grocery store? Do mm -hmm. it at home and impress your friends that really you made it like in your in your home. How about pancakes? We've mm. replaced buttermilk with yogurt. We've replaced um, uh, with our. We've done our mac and cheese here. We've replaced the heavy mm. cream with yogurt. We've done our tzatziki sauce mm. with yogurt, and all of these are healthier alternatives to using mayonnaise or sour Absolutely. cream or butter. We're it's down to 200. In which color, Doug? Uh oh. 200 left in one of the colors. I don't know which one, but we're getting very limited <laughs> overall at this point. And look at, we've done our cake. We've replaced with our spinach dip. We've replaced the sour cream and the mayo. Mm. We've used oh, it's our- blue that's most limited. Uh, we've used our yogurt to use a cheese. Oh. We've done our cream cheese. And Yum. We've Look done, at all this. We've got to do a, our yogurt bar. They, we can't let them take us away so without doing So you can make whatever kind of yogurt. yogurt it's called bar. the Greek yogurt maker because you can really strain it down and make it that nice, the consistency that we love. I know our time is up. Seven eight four four zero is the item that. number. Oh, yummy! <laughs> Thank you. Such a good source of protein.